let us talk born into fame episode one hi guys i hope you are good my name is Buisa Lovilagazi, your reliable source to the latest pop culture news and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me let us begin these are my observations i think when you get a feel of the show it sort of reminds you of the entertainment back in the days i remember those shows from vuzu it's giving that and also mtv you know it has that feel that young feel and i think it's gonna be probably very appealing to you know the youngsters i'm at 2000 are cool yeah but i need to be honest for a debut episode um the first episode it's it was not the best you know um but what sort of redeemed the show especially towards the end you can see uh as you get a preview of what is yet to come you're like okay looks like it's gonna be hot here yeah. also i must say this it's quite a bit risky from a production point of view to have more males and then you have two females in the show i'm like oh i see how that is gonna go normally we know that females guys females are able to bring it especially in the south africa in the landscape of south africa um you know people are sort of drawn mostly by females and female drama it, it's it's very it's quite an experiment you know to sort of have males a lot of males in the show and yeah i don't know how that is gonna go yeah the first person we got introduced to was Robby malinga jr right first of all before we even go further what was happening with his chair that couch i don't know i feel like they could have gotten another chair for him like i don't know that couch sort of swallows him i actually think he's good for reality tv so apparently he's a musician i'm using the words apparently because honestly i've never heard maybe it's because i i've not listened to radio or watch tv you know maybe his songs are channel o every day maybe it's me you know and um so i'm shocked to see hey apparently five million people have been streaming his songs i'm like hmm, south africa is alive with possibilities honestly and that that is, that is actually amazing that is actually amazing and then of course i want to know where is he getting all this money from because Someone may say, no, but his dad used to have money. His dad used to have money, guys. But from the articles that I've read, the family claimed to have not received the money from, you know, the, the what was that? record? TS Records. I don't know. Maybe he's still getting royalties from, from his dad and stuff. But I don't know. So Robbie Jr. kept on emphasizing that, you know what? I'm actually a version of my dad, but it's how he was behind closed doors he kept on emphasizing the behind closed doors and i'm like hmm, this is very interesting because there's a version that we see you know of these uh you know celebrated figures and probably there's another version of who they are behind closed doors i was like i just i wonder of course i mean when you look at robbie malinga he used to wear like expensive stuff and you could tell that he was a man who had style so i'm not surprised that he loved a lavish lifestyle you know so Robbie jr takes his road manager <laughs> i'm not being shady but a road manager is someone if you have like a tour right so does he tour the country and like seeing ne? guys make me understand i'm really clueless i'm really genuine like i need to understand because as i did say i don't really follow music that much so he's so, sort of touring ne? he tours and he's got a road manager that's that's good it's actually good and also but also he took his road manager um to the to, to you know to the spa treatment thing and it seems like the road manager was it was the first time him experiencing all these things i'm like is it because there are cameras now today or, or what what is what is happening <laughs> thank god for shami so um for me she just saved episode one all right that lady is her honesty her transparency and her realness when i saw her i was like you know what let me sit back and watch this is one person who's saying you know what i'm not continuing my mother's legacy i'm paving my own way you know and she opened up about her mental health you know issues and uh, especially you know uh, inflicting harm on herself and a lot of people will relate especially the youngsters who will be watching the show and um also, I like the fact that you spoke about the whole Miko situation because it's it's very important for you to talk about stuff before other people bring it. It's very important, you know. 
so that you know i feel like once you reach a certain level of acceptance with certain things no one can use that thing against you so for that shamiso is the best and she even took us to her workplace we saw where she's working let us also talk about pila i think pila is gonna be the drama in this show is gonna be the driver from the look of things um i don't know i feel like there's a lot of hate there i don't know i'm just sensing that i don't know there are certain things that he needs to heal from you know i don't know there's just something about him that for me for me as just a viewer that i feel like mm, this one is still hating from a lot of things and he still needs to open up about a lot of things and i hopefully through the show the show will allow him to open up about his certain things that he's gone through. I don't know, I'm just sensing some vibes there, you know. So next week, we're going to get introduced to AJ and Oami. Um, and we are also going to get introduced to Tank, who is DJ Kirasana.